So in this video, we are going to set up a class meeting time inside the class we have set up in Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to go ahead and select my class. And then at the top right, you'll see where it says meet. I'm going to click the down arrow and click schedule a meeting. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in a little title. I'll just put something simple. 7A class meeting. I've already put in my attendees and I'll put the link at the top of the video here of how I did that um, and set up the date. So I'm going to put in the date that I need, the time for this class. All right, that's the date or the time, the date and time is set. Next, it says does not or does not repeat. I'm going to change that to every weekday, Monday through Friday, even though my class does not meet every Monday through Friday. Now that I've selected this, I can go back in there and click custom. So the start date I have set right now, it's set for Monday through Friday um, every week. And I'm going to unselect Friday. I'm going to put my end date. I'm just going to go ahead and put this for the end of our school year. So you'll see down here at the bottom, it says occurs every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, starting on January 19th and ends on June 3rd. I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and click send. This will send it to the students who I've put in this class. Not, I am not finished yet though. I'm going to go back in to the meeting itself. You're going to see where it says meeting options at the top, kind of top middle. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. All right, I am not going to invest in Microsoft right now. All right, so you have a few options here. It says who can bypass the lobby. So I'm going to go ahead and click only me so my kids can't go into this meeting at any time they want. Um, it says allow always let callers bypass the lobby. No. Announce when callers join or leave. I have that set to yes. Who can present? Right now I have it selected only for me, but um, if you're doing things in your class, you can easily go back into your settings and change this so um, students can um, share their screen. Allow attendees to unmute. Yes, and then I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right, great. That is done now. Now I can go ahead. I can go ahead and close out that screen, and and go back to the Teams meeting itself. All right. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and click where it says Join here to join the meeting, and you'll see the little blue hyperlink has lit up. So I'm going to click it, then I'm going to copy that link there. And now I can post this link to wherever, um, whatever system you use for your, uh, to let your kids know of what's going on in your class. In our case, we use Canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and post this link in Canvas. Um, that is our LMS. So, um, my kids know or have a link to get into the class. So there's multiple ways, or you can post this on your classroom website. So this is how you set up a class meeting within uh, Microsoft Teams.